During the 14th century, European civilization transitioned from the Middle Ages to modernity. The Renaissance revises successful ideas from the ancient periods and saw the surge of classical scholarship and values. The Renaissance witnessed the development and discovery of new continents, scientific advancement, developments in philosophy and art, and the growth of trade. The Renaissance is famously known for the intellectual movement of humanism, whereby prime importance was placed in human beings and not supernatural matters. Humanism flourished first in Italy, following the fall of Constantinople to the Ottoman Empire in the year 1453. It was humanism and Greek scholarship that was adopted in the West, with many Eastern scholars experiencing the destruction and chaos of religious wars. Greco-Roman philosophy was rejected during the Middle Ages and largely forgotten in Western Europe, resulting in a decline in literacy. Renaissance humanists reintroduced these classical thinkers like Epicurus and Plato, where they argued that Greek rationalist views agreed with their new understandings of Christianity. Renaissance humanism argued for an optimistic outlook of humans, focusing on the goodness and success of humanity. Before the Renaissance, Christianity viewed human beings as sinful creatures who needed to be constantly mindful of their deeds. Scientific discoveries like the Copernican Revolution, where the Earth and the other planets orbit the Sun, accelerated Greco-Roman works because they fostered a more rational and scientific approach to theology, the natural world, and the arts. The Renaissance scholars now believed that humans and nature were subjects that must be studied and understood. Renaissance humanists did not reject Christianity. Many of the greatest works of the Renaissance were devoted to it. Their vision was to return to the simplicity of the New Testament, bypassing the complexities of medieval theology and integrating science into our understanding of God and the universe. However, a small shift took place in the ways that scholars approached religion that was reflected in many areas of cultural life. The most profound area was art, where artists aimed to represent subjects truthfully, avoiding fiction and supernatural elements. One of the most famous works is Leonardo da Vinci's Vitruvian Man, where Leonardo attempted to draw the perfectly proportionate human being. Others included Raphael's School of Athens, symbolizing the marriage of art, philosophy, and science. The painting depicts students learning the history of philosophy by Plato and Aristotle, who are both depicted in the middle of the painting. Michelangelo's creation of Adam aimed to differ from medieval creation scenes, with God on the right and Adam on the left. God is depicted as an elderly and muscular man with grey hair and a long beard. Rather than wearing royal garments as depicted as an all-powerful ruler, he wears only a light tunic, exposing his legs and arms. This was very contrary to medieval depictions of God, as he is being displayed in a state that is not untouchable, but rather accessible to man. Key scientific discoveries during the Renaissance included the invention of the printing press. This had a profound impact on widespread learning by allowing a faster production and wide distribution of Renaissance texts and ideas around Europe. Scientific advancements were made by figures such as Galileo and Copernicus, who helped pave the way for the modern scientific method. These thinkers focused on empirical evidence, experiments, hypothesis and mathematics. Some inventions were eyeglasses, the pendulum, Galileo's telescope and the microscope. It was these qualities that led to the great contributions of astronomy, physics, biology and anatomy. Improved scientific understanding helped develop more effective ships that were lighter and could sail farther and faster, encouraging discovery and exploration. In 1492, an Italian explorer, Christopher Columbus, sailed across the Atlantic from Spain, seeking a direct route to India, on his way accidentally discovering the Americas and the New World. The Renaissance also impacted architecture, reflecting the rebirth of classical culture. It originated in the city of Florence in the early 15th century, replacing medieval Gothic styles. Roman art was reintroduced, with columns, round arches, tunnel vaults and domes. This knowledge of classical architecture came from the recordings of Vitruvius, where the focus was on proportion and beauty.